What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today we're gonna talk about locked loadouts. And before I even get started, I just wanna mention, hey, let's be respectful in the comments section of other people's opinions. Locked loadouts is a fairly controversial issue among the PvE community. Uh, people who go in into Destiny 2, some people really like this idea, other people really hate it. Uh, let's just be respectful of other people's opinion and just because they don't share the same opinion as you, doesn't mean they're less than, right? Okay, so here's the deal. Locked loadouts were first announced by Luke Smith at E3. And what this basically is, is when you load into an activity, you will choose your loadout for that activity, probably including weapons and armor, but we're not real sure about that. Uh, but you'll go into that activity and then after you've loaded in, you'll not have the opportunity to change your loadout inside of that activity. So whatever you load in with, you're gonna be stuck with for the duration of that activity. Well, we got some more news about this because we didn't know what activities would be included in this and we didn't know exactly how it would be implemented, but Justin Truman, the gameplay lead for Destiny 2, actually gave us some more details at Gamescom about this. Here's a quote from Justin. When the activity starts, your loadouts are restricted for the duration of that activity. An example, is the hard mode raid where we want to make it really about the tactical decision making of what do I want to bring in to maximize my ability to play this strike with these modifiers on. You have to make those decisions up front because we then lock your ability to change your loadout for the duration. Okay, so that's the end of the quote and there's a couple of interesting things going on in this quote. One is he starts talking about the hard mode raid and then he changes it to strike. So I don't know if this was a bit of a slip, like they weren't supposed to talk about the hard mode raid having locked, out, locked loadouts, or if he just thought that strikes would be a better example. But with the hard mode raid, we know that in the past, Luke Smith has talked about trying to increase the difficulty of Destiny 2's endgame without just adding a bunch of damage modifiers to the enemies, making them harder to kill, they have bigger health pools and they do more damage. That is not an interesting way of adding to the difficulty. So locked loadouts may increase the difficulty of Destiny 2's endgame. One of the things that people are a little wary of is having to load into the raid and then no matter what encounter you are in, you never have the chance to change your loadout. So there's two different opinions here, is that you load into the raid and then for every encounter, you get another chance to change your loadout. What this quote would seem to say is that you choose your loadout when you load into the raid and then for the duration are stuck with that loadout. I actually found this pretty interesting. Uh, I like this idea, I'll be honest with you, because at the beginning of the raid, you have to have a discussion with your raid team. Hey, all right, we need some snipers, we need some rocket launchers, like we need, we need this kind of DPS, we also need this kind of crowd control, and all of a sudden, your whole raid team needs to not only work together during the raid, but actually work together selecting loadouts for the raid. It's not something that was super important in Destiny 1 because you could always change your loadout during the raid. If you need a DPS for a boss like the War Priest, everybody would just switch to the Black Spindle. If you needed a DPS for Axis, everybody would just switch to uh, the Dark Drinker. So you were constantly adjusting your loadout based on what you were doing in the raid. The difference here would be that you have to select your loadout going into the raid and you're gonna have to select, okay, we need some long range DPS. We also need some close range DPS. Maybe we need some ad control with rocket launchers or grenade launchers. There's all sorts of things that come into play. Now the downside is of course that you may find that you selected poorly in the hard mode raid and you have to leave that raid to reselect your loadouts and start over. This would certainly make the hard mode raid more challenging but I think that a lot of people who played Destiny 1 felt like the hard mode raids, they weren't challenging enough. Normal mode raids, I don't think should get more challenging. I like where normal mode raids are at. You get into a normal mode raid, and as long as you have a somewhat coordinated team, you can usually get through it. Hard mode though should be more difficult. I don't know if I'm gonna like this change or not once it actually becomes implemented. I like the idea of it, but I can definitely see some frustration of, you know, we have 
we just don't have enough long range DPS to do damage against the end boss of the raid. So we have to get out of the raid, go all the way to the beginning, select new loadouts, and then go through the raid all over again, and then get to that final phase and see if our changes actually make a difference. It's an interesting change for sure. Like no doubt about it. Will it have the desired effect? Will it just be frustrating for players? I don't know. But as we learn more about this, I, I'm definitely keeping my eye on this because I find it to be extremely interesting. Uh, it does seem like it'll also be implemented in Nightfall Strikes. Whether it is implemented in every Nightfall Strike, I don't know. When you load into a Nightfall Strike in Destiny 2, every week, are you going to be forced into a locked loadout situation or is it going to be a modifier for some nightfall strikes that'll be an interesting thing to see as well uh i don't know if he was supposed to talk about the hard mode raid when he was talking about this it was very interesting that he kind of changed he changed the subject matter he started talking about locked loadouts with the hard mode raid and then switched to strikes uh so that is fairly interesting and it also may be that this is still kind of being developed they have obviously quite a while before the hard mode comes out. I'm sure the hard mode raid, or, well, the, the raid is built out, right? Uh, but, you know, based on when the, the normal mode comes out, which I'm guessing is going to be around, I don't know, September 15th, right? A little bit after the release of Destiny 2, give players a little bit of time. And then the, let's say the normal mode comes out September 15th. The hard mode could be a week after that. It could be a month after that. We just don't know. Um, and that, based on player performance in the normal mode, they may adjust what's going on in the hard mode raid uh, just based on their play, player data. So it may be that they're just not sure yet exactly how they're going to implement changes into the hard mode raid. We'll have to wait and see. On the other hand, they may know exactly what they're doing and just be kind of wringing their hands and they can't wait to see players just get stomped on in the hard mode raid. Uh, because there are a fair number of players who just don't think that the raids are challenging enough in Destiny uh, at this point. Especially uh, the last two raids, King's Fall and uh, Wrath of the Machine. Wrath of the Machine, I think, in particular, uh, never felt as challenging as something like Crota's End when it was brand new. Or uh, Vault of Glass when that was brand new. So we'll have to see how this actually comes to fruition. I do think it's very interesting. I know that a lot of players are very strongly set against uh, having the locked loadouts, and I definitely respect that opinion, and I do see the problem with it. Uh, it could be very frustrating to have to you know, restart the raid, basically, because you just find out that you don't have enough sniper rifles on your team or enough fusion rifles on your team or enough, you know, whatever. But... It is the hard mode raid, and I think that it should be difficult, and it shouldn't be completable for every team who attempts it. That's that's my personal opinion. I think there should be a activity on the high end of the PvE spectrum uh, that is exclusive to the best players, and I, I find that to be very interesting. Uh, something like Trials of Osiris for PvE is actually very appealing to me. So... Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about locked loadouts being implemented in the hard mode raid. Do you think that it should be based on the entire raid? Meaning, do you think that the locked loadout should be set at the beginning of the raid and you don't get to change throughout the entire raid? Or do you think that it should be based on each activity where you go from one boss to another and you can change your loadout for every boss? I think that kind of ruins the purpose of the locked loadout myself. Uh, but it would definitely make it more forgiving and not quite as punishing uh, because you wouldn't have situations where maybe the first boss of the raid really relies on, uh, let's say, ad control. So you want to bring a lot of rocket launchers and grenade launchers, but the last boss of the raid really relies on sniper rifles. So you want to bring a lot of snipers for that, you know, long-range DPS. Balancing those two things could be could be really interesting, but it could also really damage your chances of making it all the way through the raid, especially if you don't have the strongest raid team on the planet, for, for sure. I definitely think this is interesting. I know there's a lot of differing opinions. Please be respectful of your fellow Guardians in the comments. Uh, nobody's got a bad idea. Everybody's just got a different one. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys next time.
So, a ball scientist can take a punch, but they're not very smart. <laughs>